Well hit there. Even Boeing would have been impressed with that kind of speed. That is deep. That stayed in the air. Great ball. Hey guys, Travis Fulton here, Todd Firestone, and Virgil Herring. And it's time to talk about the big stick, the driver. And when we talk about the driver, there's really two things that come to play here. One is speed, and two is accuracy. And I don't think there's a better club on the market than the new Callaway XR16. I couldn't agree, Travis. Uh, again, what I want to talk about just real quick about the XR16 is the students that I work with, it's definitely the starting position that I see that I really need to improve them on to actually get the full benefits Show of this that. club. So I just want to cover just a couple of points that everybody can understand. And the first thing that I see a lot with the students that I work with is, you know, their starting position, their hips are tucked in, okay? So really all I try to get them to do is actually feel like their belly button is actually pointing to the ball to where it'll actually feel very uncomfortable for them. But again, what this allows is to get their hips out of the way to where we can actually get some speed. And then secondly is, is their spine tilt. I try to make sure we get them tilting back towards the right a little bit. And again, as far as this setup is concerned, now what I try to do is, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit one here, is actually try you know, to get them to get this speed and forgiveness that we're talking about. Yeah, I like when you get, get set up for it real quick. Okay. I think it's important to remember that we want to feel like the spine tilts at the back of the golf ball at address. So when you get in there, feel like your spine is tilted at the back of the golf ball because the axis is pointed right there. So where we want to be. And from there, we wouldn't want to let it fly. Yeah, and that helps them hit it in the center of the face. And what's great about these clubs, and I have a great big Bertha here, but the XR16 as well, is the gear effect. You know, so many of you are catching it out on the toe and the heel. And all of these clubs are great for speed, but forgiveness as well. The toe and the heel play a role here, and that's what we call gear effect. And these are so forgiving, so as you're catching it out there, it's gonna help hit more fairways. And I love that, Todd, about the setup there, because when players get behind it, you know, like that with the spine, they get set up here and they get that little bit of spine tilt, then they can shape that swing plane where the attack angle starts to come in say a little bit more on the shallow side and not so steep and steep we start to see that ball roam around on the face so I'm gonna take a good setup here and get behind it and try to control my attack angle on the way up and I caught that one in the center of the face yeah, awesome. but again toe heel these clubs will help to keep them in the middle yeah that's one of the things that I really recognized about the XR16 is the fact that the stabilization on the toe hit really took away some of the curve off the golf ball that you usually get from the toe hit and obviously it's smoking hot from the center. Great stuff there guys, all kinds of tips to try the next time you go to the range or the golf course, hit the golf ball longer and straighter off the tee. Set up, backswing, impact, there's a lot there. Give it a try. For more information to help your game, click on the buttons below.